In this video, we're going to talk about what to expect in your upcoming machine learning engineer interviews. My name is Nema, and I'm a product manager and former mobile and machine learning engineer at a big tech company. ML interviews can vary widely depending on a company's size, stage, and products. That said, no matter where you interview, you'll likely face a recruiter screen, an ML coding interview, a concepts interview, an ML system design round, and behavioral screenings. Recruiter screen first. In this 30-minute interview, a recruiter will briefly discuss the job expectations and assess your potential fit for the role. The screen probably won't be too technical, and you may even meet with a hiring manager instead of a recruiter if the company is smaller. You'll hear about the responsibilities of the role and get a chance to ask questions about the interview process. You should expect to get asked behavioral questions to assess your personality and working style, resume questions to understand your machine learning experience, and light technical questions to gauge your domain knowledge. Good questions to ask at the stage are, what's the format of the interview? What types of questions can I expect? Behavioral? Technical? Can you tell me the names of my interviewers? Before this call, do some research on the company. Prep your interview area and desk so you're comfortable, and research the recruiter on LinkedIn so you can make a good first impression. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to check out Exponent's complete machine learning interview course, featuring hours of ML mock interviews, real-world coding practice, and machine learning system design deep dives. Start for free on tryexponent.com. Next, there's a machine learning coding interview. Here you'll be assessed on a few things. First, you'll be expected to code a working solution and explain its role within a broader system. You'll also likely be tested on your knowledge of TensorFlow and PyTorch, as well as your domain expertise relevant to the team's specific subfield. This could be on a topic like transformers or convolution neural networks. You may be asked follow-up questions that involve extending the system to more complex scenarios. Some example questions include, implement an attention mechanism using PyTorch. Develop a convolutional filter using PyTorch or TensorFlow. Conduct k-means clustering. Identify the common ancestors in a tree. This 45-minute session involves discussing fundamental machine learning concepts with an ML engineer or scientist. Questions might include, can you explain the bias variance trade-off? What do training data and testing data mean? What are the differences between stochastic gradient descent, mini-batch, and gradient descent? Why is feature scaling and normalization important? To perform well in this interview, keep these tips in mind. The interviewer typically structures the session, so focus on providing concise but thorough answers. Stay on topic and let your interviewer guide the conversations. Write out any relevant equations if you need to work through them. Use concrete examples to illustrate your points. Next, let's talk about the ML system design interview. Here you'll be tasked with designing a complete ML system from data pre-processing to model deployment. You should be well versed in the practical aspects of putting an ML model into production, such as efficiency, monitoring, preventing harmful outputs, and building inference infrastructure. Example questions might include, how would you design a Spotify recommendation system? How would you create a model for Netflix that predicts watch times? How would you develop an ETA system for a Maps application? Here are some tips to help you succeed. Number one, ask clarifying questions, especially about expected inputs and outputs, the downstream use case, the scope of the question, and acceptable trade-offs. Number two, sketch out a high-level design of the system. Number three, when discussing infrastructure related back to the foundational ML concepts. For example, if designing a monitoring system, explain the metrics you'd monitor and why. Number four, debrief and discuss the main bottlenecks and trade-offs of your overall system design. Number five, if interviewing at a large company, be prepared to answer follow-up questions on scaling the system, such as, how would you adjust your design if you could increase your model size by tenfold? Finally, in the behavioral interview, the hiring manager will gauge whether your skills and working style align with the team. This interview involves discussing your experiences, successes, and failures. Example questions might include, can you describe your machine learning experience? Tell me about a machine learning project that you worked on. How do you manage projects under pressure? What are the trends and challenges in your machine learning specialty? To ace this interview, provide context to help the interviewer understand the situation, but avoid getting bogged down in every detail. Be clear about what you did, why you did it, and what results and learnings came from it. Highlight your most important experiences and emphasize your strengths, explaining how they align with the job requirements. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful. Be sure to check out Exponent's machine learning interview prep course in the description below, and we'll see you in the next video.